And so today's training, I'm proper, proper excited for this this morning. I'll tell you why. As it resonated with me personally as well. And I know if that happens, then it's going to resonate with you guys. So the last couple of days, this week, uh, I've loved this week. Uh, I think this has been the best week I've ever delivered in terms of the morning live. Um, why? Because I've put a lot more work into it. It's as simple as that. And that's the same as every single aspect of your life. And if you go back and watch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, uh, you will see that they have all flowed into each other. Okay. By the way, guys, again, I will drop the link in at the end. I'm hosting an unbelievable um, nutrition training and mindset seminar at eight o'clock on Sunday, but you do need to be registered to be there, okay? Now, I want you guys, ask you guys to do something for me today, okay? Uh, it's not promoting my business, okay? It's helping me with the content. So I want to know, and I want you to get a pen out, and I want you to remember this video, and I all want you to put them in the comments, I want to know the top three things that you struggle with. In fact, no, let's just go for three. I want to know the number one thing that you struggle with when it comes to nutrition. I want to know the number one thing that you struggle with when it comes to training currently, right now. And I want to know the number one thing that you struggle with when it comes to your mindset, okay? Because I'll be spending 20 minutes on each of those as well as doing a massive live Q&A and I want to make sure, I've got some, a lot of content ready, but I want to make sure that it's absolutely nailed on and as perfect as what it can be to coaching you guys exactly what you need right now, okay? This isn't one of those cheesy sales webinars. It's a coaching session for you guys, okay? I want you all to be there. It's on Sunday night, and it's going to mean we start Monday morning in epic form. So we discussed, okay, this week's been about understanding that to conquer fear, which is what is holding all of you back. Morning, Georgia, say hello. We need to first define it, okay? And we looked at what's the worst thing that could happen if, okay? And we also discussed how fear is often disguised as optimism, okay? Ah, oh, it was going to get better. There were, oh, I know, but I've been, oh, I know, but I've been with him for five years now. Five years and it's not getting better. Trust me, sweetheart, it ain't going to start getting better. Oh, I know, oh, I hate my boss. I absolutely hate my boss, but I've been here six years now and, and, and I get a pension in another 13. Stop it with that. That is fear disguised as optimism, okay? You're plucking out the worst case, best case scenario, which is actually the worst case scenario, okay? But either way, remember we discussed the pessimist. Um, oh, it's the world screwed at the moment, so what's the point? And then we discussed the optimist. Oh, don't worry about the world, everything will turn out fine. Whether you're an optimist or a pessimist, either way, you're screwed. Why? Because neither of those things lead to action and without action, nothing happens, okay? It's called optimistic denial. So we asked the question, didn't we? And the epic quote to end on, you have comfort, you do not have luxury, okay? And you've got to get this. Those of you who are struggling in your, in your careers and coming out with crap like you work for 18 hours every day, you know, you guys that have your own business, I'm proper proper, and I mean this, sick of hearing it from you guys, because that's a choice. You're in charge of how many hours you work. And if you're doing 18 hours a day, it's because you're not planning, you're not delegating, and you're not being fair to your family. It's as simple as that. What some wants a guy who works 18 hours, six days a week, and all he ever moans about is how busy he is, okay? Not good. Promise you on that. Okay, so you have comfort, you don't have luxury and money does not play a part in this. The luxury that I advocate has nothing to do with money. It cannot be bought. It's the reward of those who have no fear of discomfort and change. Okay, taken from Jean Lecoq, Jean Cocteau, even French boxing manager. That was where I got it from. Okay, so let's reset the title of today's video. That was a quick recap is... Don't save it all for the end was one that I almost put 
and the one that I actually ended up going with was not taking action is the biggest risk of all. The thing that you should be most afraid of in the world right now is not taking action. If you're just joining, make sure you say hello and tell us where you're from. Back to the start, because that's what I'm going to end on. We're also going to come on to some acronyms for fear, okay? Now, there is every reason not to keep doing this, I'll save it all for the end mindset. That's what retirement is. Like, you know when people save all their money up? It's like, what, why? Safety? Safety doesn't make you feel good. Safety stops you doing things, okay? Safety is not a growth mentality. And if we want to be happy, we need a growth mentality, not a safe mentality, okay? you like, oh, I'm just saving everything up for when I'm 65. Would you not want to like enjoy now while you can live in the present? Could be dead tomorrow. Think about it. Sounds like a, like a bit of an absurd thing to say, but it's true. Becky, say good morning. Tell us where you're from. Anthony, you still haven't said good morning and told us where you're from. Step out of your comfort zone. Get posted in the comments. Don't save it all to the end, okay? Now, I'm going to tell you why Paul Roberts, the man I've got most shredded in my entire life. Good morning, brother. Um, say hello. Tell us where you're from. Um, this is why my coaching is so different, okay? Because we do not do questions and answers, Questions and answers is bullshit. You go on, you've got all the questions and all the answers are on the internet. Do not pay someone for the answers. Go and find them yourself. Stop being lazy, okay? Q&A in our world stands for questions and actions. Because you can have all the questions in the world. Yes, William, checking in from South Africa. We are global, brother. And now back to Mansfield. <laughs> um, so all the answers are on the internet, are on books. Look at all those books there. And my caffeine tablets and Logan's work and some inspiration. My nan, my granddad, my mum, me when I was six months old. Last photo ever taken of her. My granddad, Logan's stuff. You know, look around. The answers are there. The answers are everywhere. The answers are in all those books for every, they're my top ones. That's why they never leave my desk, okay? All the answers are there for everything you've ever needed. You do not need to pay a coach for those answers. What do you need to pay a coach for? You need to pay a coach to make sure you take action because at the moment, most of you aren't, okay? And that is why it's different, okay? You need someone to make you take action and you need somebody to make you accountable, okay? So I'm gonna drop in a quick quote from Mark Twain as well. This is still one of my favorite ever quotes. I'm 40 now, I've made it my own. I'm 40 now and I've had a whole host of obstacles and troubles in my life, okay? The truth is, most of them never happened. Most of them were up here, okay? So if you are nervous about doing something, and fear holds you back, or you keep putting it off because you have a lack of certainty about it, here is the antidote, okay? We are going to finish this week on, can't even remember how many I wrote, seven steps, seven steps, funny that, I was on the seven steps, wait, I'm still on the seven steps waiting list, for about two years. Anyone who's, who knows what seven steps is knows what it is. They, knows what, they know why you should be put on it and they'll know why it's hilarious that I was put on it uh, almost two years ago now and I'm still on it and I still get a letter every three months. Insane, okay? Um, so if you are nervous about doing something and fear holds you back and you keep putting it off, these are the antidotes. Seven things, get a pen. Every single one of you, grab a pen, unless you're driving, Grab a piece of paper right now and let me know in the comments when you've got a pen and when you've got a piece of paper. Just write pen, okay? Or just write paper. Because trust me, you need to write all of these down. Thinking about it isn't enough. That's why some of you are going wrong. You listen to my lives, you're like, oh, this is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. Oh my God, this is, you. people are sending me loads of light bulbs. Um, saying this is really hitting home and this is so helpful and I love you coaching and I love your lives. And then I stop coaching and they go back to the rest of their day as they have done every other day, okay? Pen, I wanna see 
four, at least 44 comments saying pen. And you're gonna write all these down because it's not enough to have it up here. You can't organize it in your head. Trust me on that, okay? So number one, you don't have to do this live because it will be too distracting, but you just need to write the questions down and then you need to go about your day and do them. Number one is define your absolute worst case scenario, okay? If you do what you keep thinking about, okay? Write down all of the what ifs. What if? What if you make the changes that you need to make? Phones are fine, okay? What if, what, ha what if, what if? That's all most people live on, what if? What happens if, what if, what if, okay? So vision this in huge detail, okay? Would it be fatal? Would it have a permanent impact on your life? And your worst case scenario, how likely is it that that will actually happen, okay? That's number one. Don't start doing it now. Carry on listening. I want you to do that today. Number two, if that happened, the worst case scenario, what steps could you take to get back to normal and repair the damage within 24 hours? Chances are they are very, very easy. Remember what I said yesterday? If this hadn't worked out, I could have just gone and got a job back being a doorman, okay? I could have just gone back to promoting clubs. There were a million different things I could have gone straight back to had my massive gamble that actually had zero risk not paid out and is now allowing me to live the life of my dreams, okay? Number three, morning tree call. Peter, say good morning and let us know where you're from. What are the outcomes and benefits of the far more probable success if you drop the excuses and do the thing that you've always been wanting to do, okay? Again, you can develop on this a little bit. I will recap each question, so if you're missing it, don't worry, but these, are, these recordings are posted anyway. Sunday's recording will not be posted. We will be live on Facebook for 15 minutes and then everyone will be on Zoom and nobody is getting that apart from those who register. Why won't you be on Facebook? One, because I don't want you to be distracted because you're spending half your life distracted on Facebook and I want your full attention, okay? So I want everything off apart from Zoom because trust me, Sunday night is gonna be insane, okay? All new material. Sound like a comedian. So what are the, number three, what are the outcomes and benefits of the far more probable success? These could be internal, okay? Confidence, self-esteem, live longer, happier, more energy. Me, tick, 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 fucking tick. Nailed all of them. Impacts on others, your kids, your family, your friends. Being a role model, being a better dad, being a better partner, being a better person, being a better friend. Tick, 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 tick fucking tick. Nailed them all. Those were the outcomes and the benefits of the far more probable success. More time, more money, more impact, more freedom. Tick, 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 tick. What was the worst case scenario? It didn't work out and I had to go back to doing what I was doing anyway. Same with that. Okay, now, bonus question. So there's actually eight. Karen, I'll recap all the questions at the end. I want to see your answers on email. You love an email, don't you? I love you for your emails. Bonus question. How many less intelligent people who have faced far bigger obstacles than your peachy little ass have had worse starts in life, worse situations, more obstacles, and still managed to pull off that thing it is that you want? How many people? I'll give you a clue. It's well over 100,000, whatever you're struggling with, okay? Number four. If you were fired from your job today or your partner came home and said, you're dumped, I'm off. See you later. C'est la vie. What could you do instantly to get that situation under control? How would you react 
when you were forced into it, okay? Um, because the two, things that, the two things that I had to leave that were making me unhappy was those two things, brutally honestly, not my fault, a relationship and a job, and I was actually forced to leave both of them, okay? Because I was weak and I put it off for too long. Should have done it myself way sooner, okay? When I was forced to do it, I took action. Just think about that, okay? What if you were forced to do the thing that you keep putting off? How quickly would you adapt? How quickly would you deal with it? Look at my life now versus 10 years ago, okay? How fast would things go back to normal? They go back really fast, no matter how difficult the thing was, okay? One, two, three months maximum. Now, here's an acronym for you to take home as well. Fear. F, false, E, evidence, A, appearing, R, real. False, evidence, appearing, real. You think if I lost my job, if my marriage ended, if this happened, if COVID happened, if this happened, if anything at all happened, you think it's going to be the end of the world. It's going to be fatal, it's going to be terminal, and you will never recover, okay? That is fear. False evidence appearing real. It's not real, okay? Number five, what are you currently putting off out of fear? I'll recap these because you need to be writing all these down. Anyone who's listening to this and it's making sense and it's going home and you're not writing it down, you're an idiot, okay? Epic quote time. Usually, no. Not usually, I'm gonna retract that statement. Always, what we fear doing most is what we need to do most. The awkward phone call, the difficult conversation, the uncomfortable fitness journey, ending the relationship, changing the career, Moving away towards positivity from situations that may not be positive, okay? Fear of the unknown is what stops you. Fear of unknown outcomes. This is why you come out with bull crap like, oh, I wish I had more self-belief. Oh, if only I could believe in myself. Oh, if only I could believe in myself, I'd get started. Oh, if only, like, gyms weren't shut, I'd start training. Oh, if only McDonald's wasn't open, then I'd be able to eat healthy. Silly examples to make you laugh a little bit, but it's true, isn't it? Okay? When you say those things, Leslie, good morning. Donna, good morning. Say good morning and tell us where you're from. We're still waiting for Pete to tell us where he's from. Um, that stops you doing it. It's fear of the unknown outcome. Self-belief doesn't exist. Okay? Perfect timing doesn't exist. Nothing like that exists at all, okay? All you are looking for is certainty. You're looking for real and absolute proof that if I do this, I will get that. And what's holding you back is that if you do do this and you don't get that, people will laugh at you and you'll look silly. That's, in layman's terms, how silly, leads, 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 and how minimal it is. Yes, Georgia's got a pen and she's even found an emoji pen okay so tattoo that on your head with a pen what we fear most is always what we most need to do okay that was in Rothwell number six your success in life will be the amount of uncomfortable conversations and the highest amount of uncomfortable situations, listen to the next part, that you are willing to have and go through. Willing, okay? Lots of you keep saying, I can't do this. I can't do that. I just can't seem to do this. Okay? That is going to lead to you feeling weak and disempowered. Focus on what you can do. And that will allow you to feel strong and empowered, okay? But trust me, 
the biggest amount of uncomfort that you can go through, if you've got really massive balls or ovaries, create some discomfort. Create some dif- discomfort on purpose today and go through it. That's what I did when I ran the marathon, okay? But it's not about can or can't. Everyone can. And if you keep saying you can't, then you're full of crap, okay? Tanya, have an amazing day. Make it an amazing day. It's what you are willing to do. What are you willing to do today? What are you willing to go through? What phone call are you willing to make? What conversation are you willing to make? Okay. Morning, Sophia. Sophia is killing it right now. Why? Because she's willing to do what she needs to do. Okay. So another little test on this that you can do is, and I've done a full post on this, is every day try and do something that scares you a little bit. Okay. Um, What I do at the moment is I contact one Radio One A-list world-class artist every single day and I send them one of my records. Why? Because it's scary, isn't it? Who, who just sends a track to Groove Armada and blatantly asks them to remix it? Well, I did. And they came back and said yes. Okay? How, why didn't I do that 10 years ago? Because I was afraid. Afraid of rejection, afraid of failure, afraid they wouldn't answer, afraid they would think I was a dick. All those things, okay? When you get over fear, crazy, crazy, great stuff happens. And now that situation is happening, okay? Could be financial, could be physical, it could be emotional, okay? But whatever action you are postponing out of fear, trust me, it will cripple you. So, Make a note now. I need to pursue what excites me. James, good morning. Tell us where you're from. It is Leeds Massive this morning. Claire, say good morning. Tell us where you're from, even though I know. Um, it's not a contacts list, Claire. It's just, I have got, I have, obviously I have got a promo list with a label, but you know, they're just as easy to contact on Instagram or Facebook. You send a hundred world-class artists a record on Instagram, 99 of them probably might not reply. I've actually had some quite arrogant and rude replies before. Some doors full on in my face. Being ignored thousands of times, but it only takes that one, doesn't it? What's the worst thing that can happen? What's, if you send Annie Mac one of your tracks today, what's the worst thing that can happen on Instagram? She ignores your message. That's it. <laughs> but we don't do it because we're afraid. It's crazy. So um, if you don't answer this question, okay? If you don't pursue what excites you, where will you be in 10 years from now? Real and direct action, okay? Ten, are you going to spend another 10 years in an unhappy relationship? Are you going to spend another 10 years doing something that's not fulfilling you? Are you going to spend another 10 years being fat, overweight and struggling to walk up the stairs and getting out of breath? Or are you going to start making changes, okay? Are you going to start doing things that move you forward? Because trust me, you're all thinking, Leeds, Leeds, Kate's from Leeds as well. Jesus Christ. Anyone in not from Leeds? <laughs> I love Leeds. I lovely, literally love Leeds. Okay, um, I miss Leeds. I mean, Nat had an amazing time in Leeds when we went back for a day. Um, trust me on this, okay? This isn't, I've not even got to number seven yet because I'm doing a Lee tangent. Not taking action is the greatest risk of all, Okay? It's not about fear of failure. It's not about messing up. It's about not taking action is the biggest risk that will cripple you, okay? Which brings me on to number seven is, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Are you waiting for someone to deliver it on a silver plate? Because that's not going to happen, okay? Are you waiting for someone to come and knock on your door and take you out for your steps? 
because that's not going to happen. Are you waiting for someone to come round and cook your meals for you? Because that's not going to happen, okay? You need to take action. No one's going to read the books for you. No one's going to do the listening for you. No one's going to write these questions down for you. No one's going to take action. You need to take action. And not taking action is the biggest thing you should be afraid of, okay? Yes, I love that one. So, okay, I'm going to recap them. And you're all going to do this because you can write them down. Number one, define your nightmare. Absolute worst case scenario. Need to be quick because I've got to go. I've got clients now. Number two, what steps could you take to repair this if it happens? Number three, what are the outcomes or benefits of the far more probable success if you do do it? Bonus question, how many less intelligent people who have faced bigger obstacles and had worse starts in life have done this before you and pulled it off? I'll give you a clue. You're talking to one of them. Number four, if you were fired or your partner dumped you today, how would you take control of that situation very quickly? Acronym, fear, false evidence appearing real. Number five, what are you putting off out of fear? Epic quote, usually, not always. What we fear most is what we need to do most. Number six, your success in life will be the amount of uncomfortable conversations and situations that you are willing to go through. And Number seven, I'm going to rehash that one as well. Pursue what excites you because it's going to be a very long life at all. And we're going to finish on what are you waiting for? Simple answer is if you are, you are afraid. Truth is there is nothing to be afraid of apart from not taking action. That is the only fear you should have. I love you all. Have an incredible day. And I'll see you again at eight o'clock tomorrow morning. Big love.